Hey everyone, this is Vincent Nguyen for Slash Gear and Windows Phone Forms. So this is the Samsung Focus powered by Windows Phone 7 walkthrough part 1 of 2. So as you can see, there's a 4 inch Super AMOLED display, 3 buttons, back, home, and search, speaker, on the right hand side is the power button, and a dedicated camera button. On the left hand side is the volume rocker, mic at the bottom. On the back is a 5 megapixel shooter with LED flash and a speakerphone. Situated at the top is a micro USB with a sliding door and a 3.5mm jack for your headset. As you can see there are notifications at the bottom, strength, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and battery meter. You flick up, it takes you into the first of two windows. These are supposedly your live tiles. You can move them around. Very easily. And let's say you want to delete one. And then this is the second window that lists all your apps. Press and hold. Pin to start, and there you have it. And then you can move it back to where it was or wherever you, else you might want it to go. Let's see what we want to look at next in this demo. Actually, let's go back and walk you through the calendar. Um, this is your agenda view, your day view, there's no week view, by the way. And uh, I believe this is, yep, this is the month view. You can select what calendar you want to show. That takes you to today. This is to add a new event or appointment, if you will. If you want to add an attendee or attendees, Let's go and look at the uh, phone. It's my call history. Let's look at the settings really quick. Of course, these are all everyone that's in my contact, including uh, people in Facebook. And since we're in here, I'll show you a quick update on uh, what it looks like to uh, see your contact in Facebook right within your Windows Phone integration. Uh, let's look at Kevin. I'm going to like his post. Ta-da! And my recent contacts. Once again, my contacts. And I'm calling my voicemail. This is what it looks like. Let's go back, show you a quick uh, walkthrough of the email. This is my all view to delete. You just select the left hand side. See how cool that is. Unread, flagged emails, urgent, all right back to where we started. And you, you can view all your folders within you know, IMAP or um, Exchange or whatever. Settings, not a whole lot there to pick from or to set. Let's try to add an account. As you can see, you can add a number of different account types. So these are all my uh, people that I really contact uh, frequently. As you can see, uh, it's going to show me what's new with Udi in his Facebook updates. Profile. And let's take a look at Seismic. It's a Twitter client for Windows Phone and I think it's one of the best, uh, has one of the best feature rich layout. Uh, those are spaces, basically they're, um, they're your Twitter IDs, settings, come on, there you go. Once again, not a whole lot of settings to pick from or 
to, to basically set up. Everything is pretty much standard. Trends within uh, Facebook directory and search. And back to spaces. So why don't I walk you through my Twitter account? Now, the one thing with Windows Phone is it does take some time to load these things up. It seems like it's pulling everything all at once through the network. So there's no caching being done on the device itself. So it does take some time to load up. Uh, it could take a longer period of time if you're on a slower network. So this is to post a tweet. I can take a picture or pick a picture. Unfortunately, you can't do anything with videos, can't upload or anything like that. Your replies, as you can see, it does take a little longer to load. Messages, waiting, 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 more waiting. Not sure why it's taking so long. Bear with me here. Dum, 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 dum. dum. Where are you, messages? Okay, I'm about had it. All right, let's move on. List, profile. Now this is, uh, I checked this out earlier. This is pretty cool. Basically it has your, um, the same profile picture from your, from the website. See my number of tweets, etc. Oh, just hit my favorites there. Pretty cool. Let me hit back. And once again, you've already seen those. How about Facebook? Let's see uh, the news feed on Facebook. There you have it. You can also update status in Facebook. Uh, shorten your uh, link you might add to the to the uh, to the message or update once again picture camera cancel and let's go ahead and head back so let's take a, look, a deeper dive into people what's new recent all these are all my contacts um, so as you can see it's pretty straightforward pictures this is fun I have lots of pictures to share with you that's my kid Allison what's new from Facebook my friends those who have shared stuff with me or I guess shared on their profile and it populates on Windows Phone view all uh, lots of pictures of Allison and a video of her, videos of her. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't work in landscape mode. And this is a video I shot of her um, yesterday, I think, of her playing. She gets a little grumpy when she can't, you know, can't move around this easily. And let's look at some still shots. And if you rotate in landscape, Oops, oh, sorry about that. Uh, where are you? Let's pick another picture to look at. Uh, these are all my pictures from Facebook. Uh, this was at a pre-screening uh, event. And that's Kazenbach, I believe that's his name. And let's head back and look at pictures by date. Hey, that's a familiar looking Windows Phone 7 device by HTC. Pinch, zoom, as you can see, works. Um, what about favorites? Ah. 
That's my girl, Allison. And so let's take a look at the browser really quick. Show you some of the features. As you can see zoom in, pinch, zoom works really smoothly. So let's take a visit to uh, Slash Gear. One thing you're gonna notice with the, the rendering engine is while it's loading everything in the background, you have full interaction with the, uh, the browser. As you can see, tap, pinch, zoom, move around, it all works. In landscape mode, It renders pretty quickly. Moving around is very enjoyable. Similar to a similar experience to Android and iPhone. As you can see, it's Chromeless design, so it gives you the full. Oops, sorry about that. Full uh, layout, full page view. Um, I'm gonna type something pretty long here, and see if I can get it to go to Windows Phone forums correctly without any typos. There you go. So Windows Phone Forms is a forum type site. So let's see how it renders on uh, IE on Windows Phone 7. Not too bad. Looks pretty good. Zoom in and out. Everything seems to work. And uh, let's see what else. Um, let's look at, oh, let's head back in. These are open browsers. And let's look at favorites. These are my favorites that I've looked at. This concludes part one of the Samsung Focus Windows Phone 7 walkthrough. Thanks for watching.